as if it's a real person. I think the character of Herbie is really tied into it being a 63 Volkswagen and the charm of that particular model. In the movie, his uh, love interest is a uh, 2004 yellow Volkswagen. So we've managed to get in the updated Volkswagen um, with the old school Herbie. Herbie. She's too young for you. Herbie has ostensibly three to four wardrobe changes. The first one is Junkyard Herbie, who is how he appears all scuffed up when we first meet him in the junkyard. He still has his spirit, but on the outside, he's a little beaten and battered. Hey, Maggie, did you find anything yet? Nothing's calling out to me. Oh, now, trust me. There is a certified pre-owned champion out there just waiting to be discovered. The second is the street Herbie, where they slick him out and give him new parts, and so he's all fancified. It's called spit polish. We kind of spruce it up. It's got, like, blue lights on the inside. It has this, this sound system in the back and everything. Hey, look at this 2180 engine. Dual Weber carburetors, front and rear swing axis. I think we can turn him into a serious champion. was Demo Derby Herbie, where he gets captured by the villain. That's my car out there. Well, now you parked it in the wrong place. I'm going to wipe that bomb off my windshield. That's harsh. Then there's NASCAR Herbie. 180 horsepower engine, full, complete roll cage, complete tube suspension. We've had it to 118 so far. a slingshot on Dale Jarrett to move past the 88 car. Yes. It's weird because a lot of when we're doing it, sometimes when we're doing it with green screen, we can't see everything that the car is doing. So we're kind of like, well, what are we supposed to, what is our reaction now? And then the car will shake and we laugh. And You know, it's fun though. It's fun to be able to do that. It's really fun uh, working on his personality because he does have a lot of personality. Very spunky character. Well, please, I'm blowing bigger things out my nose. I wouldn't insult him if I was you. He's sensitive. What was that? Stick around, because coming up, I'll be showing you my new music video from Herbie Fully Loaded. <laughs> In Herbie Fully Loaded, Herbie goes from the junk heap to the top of the heap, finally strutting his stuff in front of 100,000 screaming fans. It's time to meet NASCAR Herbie. Let's race. The green flag is out and we're underway. And here comes Maggie Payton and Herbie, moving up on the outside. I think uh, putting the movie in NASCAR is brilliant, and to have a young woman racing in NASCAR was really exciting. It's something that's fresh, and it just seemed like the right place for Herbie to go next. For people who don't know NASCAR and why Disney would pick NASCAR, uh, it's kind of important to know that we're the number two sport in America right now, second to the NFL. We have 75 million fans. It's all American sport. Shooting at NASCAR was so exciting because we brought 15 cameras in different locations to shoot that one day. We had a circle vision camera with nine cameras mounted on it and they led us on the track to do two laps at a high rate of speed. And we were there in the pit. They gave us a pit in the middle of the race, and so all of the footage of the Team Peyton crew was there on race day. Any suggestions, Dad? Just the experience, just the thrill and the adrenaline rush, and the fact that Disney was able to work with NASCAR and they were both allowing us to do that was, that's like a once in a lifetime chance. It was an incredible technical challenge, but very well worth it. I mean, we had a down-to-the-minute schedule, and we could be here this time. It was really important for us to put the actors in the experience of NASCAR so that you could feel the energy and the vibrancy, and you just can't recreate that any other way. We put Herbie actually onto the track in one of the pace laps, which was amazing, because the crowd just went nuts when they saw him going around. For Herbie fans, it was a special moment, I think. <laughs> Got all the makings of a great race today. Beautiful weather and a great field of Nextel Cup cars as they head out onto the track for their two pace laps. We're anticipating a record crowd today as fans have come here to see which of these drivers will hoist the Nextel Cup trophy.
It's very important that NASCAR be represented accurately. Everyone will make a pit stop here for fuel and tires. We went to pit school. We had an actual pit crew showing us how to do their job. And done. We're, we're just basically showing them different, you know, moves to make. I mean, it's real small stuff, but it all adds up. You don't have a lot of time on pit road, so if you can save a couple of tenths or even a second, then you're you know, that much better than your competition. So pretty intense training, which really, really, really isn't easy. Woo! These guys are really taking taking to this deal pretty quick. Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's bad. Just another day at the track. Great pit stop for Team Peyton, their best of the day. That's going to keep them in the hunt. There's no question who the fans are pulling for. It's rookie driver Maggie Peyton. Here we come. 18 laps to go in what's shaping up to be one of the most surprising races in NASCAR history. Whoa, those guys are fast. Herbie's one of those cars that always comes back at the end. Can't believe this cat's run as good as he's running. The racers themselves were all very nice guys. We worked with uh, uh, Jimmy Johnson and um, Jeff Gordon. And they were all really cool. Never seen a bug with a spoiler. Did you not touch that? Thank you. Soft top on a race car. I like that. Oh. This car just winked at me. A race car just winked at you. I swear, the car just winked at me. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Fine. We sent Lindsay to the Richard Petty driving experience so that she could get a sense of what it uh, takes to drive a stock car. It was in invaluable in order to try to recreate it on screen. It's scary, but it's a lot of fun. The cars go really fast. They go like 170 to 180 miles per hour. I was so scared. I just did not want to crash. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. We got the experience of what it must be like to do what they do. I actually did learn how to have to drive um, a stick shift, which was fun because I didn't know how to drive one, and that was a lot of fun. You push the clutch in, put that in first gear, and what you do from here, just give a little bit of gas and just roll your clutch off nice and easy. We had a little bit of fun with Lindsay today. She showed up, she's a little bit nervous, which is normal. People coming out and hearing a race car for the first time. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> So it's going to be Maggie Payton in the number 53 car for Team Payton in a last-minute ruling by the race officials. It says here she calls the car Herbie. I've never heard of a VW Bug racing NASCAR, but it looks like Team Payton found a loophole. What are you doing? Well, it's a really great uh, empowerment movie, actually, especially the way they're doing it now, you know with uh, Lindsay's character. It's really good, it's really a nice positive image uh, and, and, and done in a really nicely written way. Really, it's a really well written little script. It's very charming, this, this movie. Go get him. Okay, when we return, we're really gonna kick things into gear. <laughs> That's right, Herbie and I will show you the music video for my song first, so don't go away. Well, Herbie, we're almost to the checkered flag, so you know what that means? <laughs> right, it's time for the music video of my song first, which is featured in Herbie Fully Loaded. Well, that's about it. I hope you'll check out Herbie Fully Loaded when it races into theaters on June 22nd. You ready, Herbie? Thanks for watching.